This video will demonstrate the step-by-step -step instructions for using Magnusol XL filter powder with a built-in filter machine. For this demonstration, we will be using Henny Penny equipment. However, there are different makes and models with built-in filtering systems. We'll show you the basic principles for a built-in filtering system. For detailed instructions to your specific filtering system, refer to the manufacturer's operating manual of your filtering system, check with your manager or supervisor, or call one of our field service experts. Before you begin, ensure that you have all the necessary tools and equipment. These are safety equipment, face shield, heat-resistant apron and gloves, complete built-in filtering system in good operating condition. This will include built-in filter pan, cover, filter insert, standpipe assembly, and filter clips, skimmer tool, heat-proof nylon brush, dry paper towels, straight brush or clean-out rod, depending on the make and model of your built-in system, filter paper envelope or filter paper, and of course, Magnusol XL filter powder. Ensure the fryer to be filtered is on and at the operating temperature. Open the cabinet door and remove the built-in filter system. Remove the cover, filter insert, standpipe assembly, and filter clips, and ensure the filter pan and all parts are clean and dry. Assemble the built-in filter system by first inserting the filter insert in the opening of the filter paper envelope. Ensure the threaded piece of the filter insert comes through the center hole of the filter envelope. Fold over the excess filter paper and secure with the two filter clips. Attach the standpipe assembly. Place the complete filter screen assembly into the filter pan. Check to see that there are no gaps or tears in the filter paper. Next, add the correct dosage of Magnusol XL filter powder to the filter paper. For proper dosage for your fryers, refer to the dosage chart on the Magnusol XL box or cup, or check with your manager or supervisor. Evenly sprinkle the Magnusol XL filter powder onto the filter paper. Replace cover and slide the built-in filter system into place. Connect the filter union by hand. The built-in filter system is now ready for use. Turn off the fryer to be filtered. With the skimmer tool, remove any large crumbs or particles. Open the drain valve and allow the oil to drain from the fryer to the filter pan. Remember, the oil is very hot, so use extreme caution and make sure you are wearing all safety equipment. Remove the basket rack. Turn the filter pump on with the drain valve open. This allows the oil to flush out any crumbs from the fryer to the filter pan. If the drain valve becomes clogged, turn the filter pump off and, with the straight brush or clean-out rod, dislodge any crumbs from the drain valve. Be careful not to damage the interior of the drain valve. Turn the filter pump back on and allow the frying oil to recirculate for five to seven minutes. This recirculation time is very important. Off flavors, off color and impurities are removed from the frying oil as it passes through the Magnusol XL filter cake formed on the filter paper. Remember, the filter pump must remain on and allow the oil to recirculate for five to seven minutes. With the oil recirculating, use a heat-proof nylon brush to clean the side walls and bottom of the fryer. After five to seven minutes, 
turn the filter pump off and with dry, clean paper towels, wipe off the side walls of the fryer. Replace the basket rack, close the drain valve and turn the filter pump back on. This will allow the oil to refill back into the fryer. When all the oil has returned to the fryer, turn off the filter pump. If the oil is below the proper level, add new oil until the oil level is right below the oil level line, as the new oil will expand when heated. If the fryer is to be used immediately, turn the fryer back on. Filter remaining fryers using the same steps. Remember to add the appropriate Magnusol XL filter powder dosage for each remaining fryer. There is no need to change the filter paper, as the one filter paper installed initially can be used for filtering all the fryers. For cleanup after filtering is completed, allow the built-in filter pan to cool down. When the filter pan can be handled safely, disconnect the filter union and slide the filter pan from the cabinet. Remove the cover. Unscrew the filter pan assembly. Lift the filter assembly. Remove the filter paper envelope and discard. Wipe out any sediments remaining in the filter pan. Rinse out the filter pan and all parts using hot water only. Wipe filter pan dry with a clean towel and allow all the parts and filter pan to air dry overnight. For additional instructions or information, please check with your manager or supervisor, other sections of this training video, or call one of our field service experts.